Hi, and welcome to CSS Hero version 3. Today we're talking about styling your login form. Now, whether you want to bring in your own background image or change the colors to match your brand, the easiest way to get started is to just go up here to Tools and click Style Login Page, and you'll get taken right here. Now, obviously, I've already spent some time with this because it looks different than the standard one. The background image is different, this color is a little bit different, the login button is different. So I'm going to talk through some of these decisions so that you can uh, find your own way and, and make your own decisions for what will meet your needs. So take a look here at this color of the background. You can see that once I've chosen the color, I can actually pull the opacity down like this. I don't want to pull it all the way down because that doesn't make any sense. And fully on wasn't as nice because I wanted to make that see that background just a tiny bit through to make it look a little bit more professional and I just enjoyed it more. And uh, also I made it I made this a tiny bit blue as opposed to white because it just felt like it fit in with the page a little bit better. Now, one thing that's a little bit tricky about this is the login button. Now, if I set if I reset this, you can see just how much I had to change to make it flat like this. If I go up here and I click reset properties, I'm going to set that button back to where it was, and you can see we've got a color, we've got uh, some a border, we've got a uh, box shadow. So watch as we change this login button to look more like the one we originally started with. So as we click on this login button, we can we can tell if we change the background color to something like red to make it super obvious, there's still other things going on. Now let's take a look at that haze around the login actual text there. That's called a text shadow. So if we go into typography and we go to the bottom, you can see text shadow right here. I'm going to turn that off. And now we've still got a border around it. So as we go to borders, we're going to make border width zero. All right, but then we still have a little bit of that blue underneath it. That's called a box shadow. That's going to be in extra. And as soon as we turn off box shadow, now there we go. We've got all that cleaned up. And now if we want to change the background color to anything we want, we have that uh, that capability. Now, I did an extra thing here to choose the actual color for this. I pulled it from the background image. So you can find page, col page colors by clicking this and then clicking page colors. But if you want to choose, actually, if you want to choose a color from the background image, then choose this guy. And then when you when you select the eyedropper, you can choose any color on the entire page to uh, to change for that login button. So I'm going to choose one of these darker blues. I'm going to choose that. That's great. Okay, so uh, we're all good. We're all set there. And then notice that what I did here is I changed this to be a lighter color. This originally was darker like this and it got lost in the background. So watch out for things like that. If you're going to change the background image or background color, make sure you do some due diligence just to, to look for these things that are getting lost and pull them so that they pop so people can understand that they're there, so people can see them uh, if they haven't uh, if they haven't realized that that's already down there, it's going to be really, really helpful. So, uh, and on top of that, to change this background, uh, by just going into background image and, and you know changing anything, changing one of these to a linear gradient, just one that's already loaded in, we can see, okay, right away, we can change the background in a second. And if we choose add image, and we search for uh, bokeh, you can see some of these things are super beautiful. They work really, really great as background images. Let me uh, Let me go to one of the more simple ones. Apply image medium typically works pretty well. So that looks really good. I like how that looks. Um, this one, if this one comes in, now it's it's a it's a uh, long image. So if you've chosen an image like this, please make sure that your background size is on cover. If it's on auto, you may find that there's a little bit of tiling. Let me actually choose a different image so you can see exactly what's going on here. Okay, you can see the tiling perfectly here. You can see that the image is a little bit too small uh, for what's going on. But if we choose cover, then that makes it big enough. Now, you want to make sure that you're not choosing a small, small, small image because if you choose extra small, look what happens to the background. It just looks horrible. So make sure you choose a, a big enough image that's going to work. Um, you can choose... You could choose large or extra large. That'll probably work the best for you. Um, that'll work for, for pretty much all cases. Um, but I'm going to go back to this guy and I'm going to choose uh, large on this. And I make sure make sure you've chosen cover here because if you just choose auto, then it's going to be a little bit bigger. But cover is going to make sure everything fits. So uh, start playing around, make these changes, choose background position, mess around to see what you like, or actually, sorry, background position uh, for this image because it's so tall, you can change a top and bottom. 
but left and right isn't going to work because it's already maxed out left and right. So just click around, try different things and experiment with different background images and colors and, uh, and play and see what you can come up with to bring this login page to life.